Let's review the top of the line Roborock S8 Pro Ultra. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. I am excited because I love testing smart home vacuum cleaners and for 2023, the flagship lineup for Roborock will be the S8 line. So in the S8 line, it's divided into three different models. On the low end is the S8, just the standard S8, and it comes with a standard charging docking station. Moving up the list is the S8 Plus. So the S8 will run you 750 for MSRP, and the S8 Plus is gonna run you a cool grand. And for that grand, it's upgrading from a standard docking station to an emptying docking station. So it'll charge your robot as well as empty out the dustbin. So you don't have to do it uh, really so frequently. Then finally, on the top of everything is the S8 Pro Ultra. This will set you back $1,600 if you pay full price for it. And its big thing is it has the Rock Dock, which is basically the empty wash fill station. Your robot will go to your home, it'll clean everything, it'll come back, it'll empty out the dustbin, it'll empty out the dirty water, it'll put in new clean water, and then it'll clean the mop on the bottom, just doing everything really for you. Uh, and the S8 Pro Ultra, what I'm looking at here, is the successor to the S7 Max V Ultra, which was the highest end version they offered in 2022. So let's go ahead and we're gonna first start with just the upgrades on the robot itself, as well as upgrades on the docking station, and then I'll tell you how it actually cleans my house, which is a mixture of carpets, hardwood floors, and a whole lot of pets. Let's start by taking a look at the robot itself. So it now comes with a white version as well as a dark version. I have the lighter version, which does look good, though it can trap some hair on if you have dark haired animals around your house. There are a few buttons on the top, such as starting and stopping and returning to the dock, as well as enabling child lock. When you open the back, just like the prior generation, you have access to the dust bin on the inside. Depending on which version you have, the SA, SA Plus, or SA Pro Ultra, will determine whether or not you have an emptying station or an empty wash fill station, or if you have a standard charging dock. If you have the regular S8, you're gonna have to empty this yourself. But if you have the SA Plus or SA Pro Ultra, it'll go ahead and empty that inside of the docking station, which we'll get to in just a minute. So here's the face of the robot. Those two contact sensors on the left and the right is how it charges just by moving into the dock itself. On the front is the camera system that is used to detect objects that are around it using AI and such. And then on top is the actual LiDAR sensor, which is used again for mapping and finding its way around your house. It supports multi-level homes as well, which is really neat because it can determine where it is. There's still a single brush there on the side that'll get close to the walls. Uh, if we move towards the other side of the robot, this is the upgraded mopping station. So the mopping tool cannot be completely removed, though you can remove the fabric so you can wash it in the, the washing machine or by hand, but the tool itself will always be there. One of the upgrades is there are now two motors, two vibration motors inside of that mop. We also have two rollers here in the center. They move in opposite directions, which helps not increase just the cleaning factor, but it also helps prevent tangles. Uh, in my testing, it does absolutely resist tangles more easily. We have a long-haired dog as well as a long-haired wife around these parts, and there would definitely be times where uh, the hair would get trapped in my S7 Max V Ultra as well as a few of the other vacuums that I had tested, and I think this does improve the suction power uh, or the, the non-ability to get tangled compared to the other ones. Uh, speaking of suction power, this does have 6,000 pascals of suction, uh, which is up from 5,100 in the S7 Max V Ultra. Finally, the roller brush here, this can actually lift up and down, so it's in mop only mode. It'll lift up those rollers so they don't get in the way. So that is what is new on the robot. Now let's take a look at the docking station. Roborock has an all new redesigned docking station that it calls the Rock Dock. It's a little bit larger overall and that is partially because they have a new larger uh, dirty and clean water tank. It's now 3.5 liters and 2.9 liters, which is up from three liters and 2.5 for the empty and dirty, wash, dirty waters compared to the last generation. The new buckets are also easier to empty. They only open up halfway uh, to empty and fill them, which just makes it a lot easier and the handles don't get in the way. And the thing has a much sleeker appearance with that piece going all around the front, covering the front of the bins. Finally, there's a new hot air blower that will dry the mop after you're done uh, running a session, mopping your house, it'll come back and dry the mop to help prevent bacteria growth, which in turn would lead to smells. That is one of the biggest differences here and it is wholly welcomed. 
One thing that actually was removed with the S8 Pro Ultra is the remote viewing mode. And I'm torn on this as whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. So on one hand, this is a good thing because some people don't want an additional camera around their home, especially one that's mobile that could traverse their home and go to any number of different rooms. Uh, if this were to be accessed remotely by somebody, uh, that could be a very bad thing. They could literally just drive around your home, get a whole layout, and then put the robot back and you would never have any idea uh, if you were out of the house. On the other hand, it was a really nice feature to be able to have, and it was one that was very securely enabled. You actually had to go to the robot itself and press a couple buttons to enable the feature on the device, and you couldn't just enable it remotely through the app. So there was security precautions in place from it being activated when you didn't want it to be activated. And actually, just last weekend, we were terrified. My wife had gotten a box of Easter candy. It was just in the box, sitting in the hallway, all closed up, and she was so worried that the dogs were going to get into this box and it happened to be an area that we didn't have a normal security camera uh, and normally what I would have done is just drive out the S7 Max V Ultra to check and just see like yep the box is good the dogs are safe uh, and it'll be like that until we come home but unfortunately I had swapped out the vacuum cleaners for the S8 Pro Ultra during the review and I realized that it doesn't have this feature there is no remote viewing capability you can still drive it around within the app but you can't view that camera uh, on or through the application, which again, for some people, it's gonna be a, a bad thing, and for others, it may be a good thing. I guess Roborock, you know, figured the odds and figured people would rather not have that feature than have the feature, but I'll leave that kind of up to you. So how did the S8 Pro Ultra clean our home? Honestly, it did a fantastic job, as did the S7 Max V Ultra. The increase in suction power was probably not a big deal. I didn't notice that much additional cleaning from the suction power as much as probably just from the improved rollers on the bottom. When there was little bits of dust like flour or anything, it picked those up much better than it did before. And as I had mentioned, it resisted tangling a lot more than it had in the past. Our one dog has very long hairs and they would typically really get trapped up in there, but it did a great job. It also seemed to do a good job on the dust bunnies that would roam the hallways that are generated from our actual bunnies that really shed quite a bit. All this got sucked up and easily transported into the empty wash fill station. I love the look of the new empty wash fill station. I think it looks a lot better in the home, much more sleek and modern, and I'm kind of a fan of this new white colorway. Other things to note, while it can lift the mop while it does go over carpets, if you have a very high pile or very plush carpet, it's still probably going to be rubbing that uh, mop over top of the carpets. It's just something that's going to happen, so either avoid those carpets or make sure the mop is clean first before you go ahead and mop those areas or vacuum those areas. It doesn't really get the area wet at all, but if you're worrying about germs and things kind of spreading around, it's something to take note of. I am always impressed how good of a job this thing does while mopping, and the two additional scrub brushes does even better. Uh, we have a lot of salt that gets tracked in through the winter here in Ohio, and it does a much better job, you know, shimmying along that ground to clear up those surfaces. And when you go and empty out the dirty water tank on your base station, boy, it is really dirty. And like, I never feel like our, our floors are that dirty in our home. We genuinely take our shoes off, and yet somehow, this thing always manages to pull a lot of dirt off of our floors. So I feel like it's actually doing something while it is mopping. I am such a fan of this and for Apple users an added benefit is that it has Siri shortcuts control. So you can activate this just by using your voice. If you use Google Home or Amazon's Assistant, those will also work for you here. But for Apple users, you can program Siri shortcuts to any number of commands to send it out on its way. The Roborock app is incredibly well designed, one of my favorite for smart home vacuum cleaners. It's really easy to see your home, you can break it down into rooms, and you can send the robot out to do different rooms, whether you choose the cleaning mode, such as mopping only, vacuuming only, and you can change the intensity of each of those. If you want to do a really big deep clean, you can even do additional cleaning on the carpets after it cleans the rest, it'll go back and do the carpets a second time, so you do a deep clean on those. There's just so many options here that you can program for this. I find it very, very nice. The obstacle avoidance is also top notch. I can identify and identify things like uh, surge protectors or a shoe or even some dog piles that may be left behind. Uh, I tried with just kind of like some silly putty just to see what it would do and it gave it a wide berth. It's not even getting close to that because you don't want to fling that around your house. And at least in all of my tests, it always avoided 
those dog piles. So I definitely would give it my pet stamp of approval and you even have to say you have pets when you're going through the onboarding process so it knows to look out for things like that. So this is a lot to take in. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's a good upgrade over the S7 Max V Ultra. Overall, one of my favorite smart home vacuum cleaners out there. You can usually find these things on sale. So if you want to try to grab one for yourself, there are links down below in the description. And I want to know your thoughts in the comments and on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned because I have a lot more videos coming your way.